Hello and hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. How you doing? Welcome to Last Week in Germany, where I'm going to go through the top posts on the German subreddit from last week and see what happened. I like to keep my finger on the pulse as best I can from all the way over here in Indiana as to what's going on in Germany. So this is the way I do it. Let's go. And the top post this week out of everything in the world is the burning question we all want to know. Why do Germans love paprika flavor? I think people love paprika favor flavor. I think it's a great flavor. At least I do. Um, I'm curious if there is an answer to this. I didn't know you guys were obsessed with paprika, but I like it. It's a good spice, you know. It, it pairs well with other, like, sweet flavors and stuff. Any, anyway, let's see. Visited Berlin recently. Couldn't help but notice paprika flavor in a lot of foods, like potato chips, nuts, etc. That sounds good. And it's because of Hungary. So there's actually an answer to this. I didn't know that. This guy discovered it in this article here. Um, the companies that made chips, also known as crisps, have flavor pilots for each country in the world. It's based on what they think will work here and what has historically worked there. There's a line in that article. Now I'm, I'm just wondering, honestly, do chips mean French fries or chips? Because crisp, okay, crisps, that means it's like potato chips. Okay, I just had to, my brain like short-circuited there for a second. So it's like American chips, you know, not crisp. Well, okay, anyway, there's a line in the article which mentions what the paprika flavor was, that the paprika flavor was initially huge in Hungary. And a long time ago, they brought it to Germany. Hey, thanks, Hungary. And it became big there. Okay. There you go. There's the answer. This post is kind of interesting. It's the second most upvoted post here. It's about, you know, considering leaving Germany as a foreigner. And I have noticed quite a few posts over the last, you know, few months. This is what I mean, keeping my finger on the pulse. Um, similar posts to this. He says he's been living in Germany for a bit over three years. Came as an, a student for engineering. Got a job. Sounds like Germany. Um, pretty good life in Hamburg. Saved a good amount of money. Um, however, as I think everyone else is aware, things feel different in Germany in, as a foreigner as they used to. I haven't had a big racist experience until the last few weeks, and I've never felt so judged for being brown. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I love German people and its culture. I think it's incredibly rich and unique, but things don't feel so sunny anymore. Wow, that's a really sad post, huh? I'm curious what the comments have to say. Is there truth to this? Like, what is going on? Hmm. This guy attributes it to, he's an, he's an immigrant himself, and he says the economy is bad and that drives right-wing ideologies. It's not German specific, it's the entire West. I know people from the US trying to get their EU citizenship because they think the US is doing much worse. Damn. Is the world going to hell in a handbasket? I'm not sure. Next post. I bought this decal for my car and then I learned it's actually illegal to flip someone the bird in Germany. It's illegal to flip someone off at all? At first, I thought this meant while driving, but it's just illegal to do that at all. Is this legal to have on my car? That's actually an interesting question. You know, this guy, this cartoon only has one finger, it looks like, so those might not be his middle fingers. Those are his only fingers. That would be what I would tell the cop. Um, but no, that's actually a really interesting question. That's a funny sticker. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to just flip everyone the bird. <laughs> but there is someone something funny about it being like rainbow. It's like happy cartoon mixed with flipping people the bird. It's kind of funny. You probably won't get into trouble, but people will assume things about you. Most aren't flattering. I mean, that's... Interesting. I mean, I would honestly probably think that person isn't a very, like, serious person. Maybe, maybe immature would be like a negative thought. 
But honestly, I would also just kind of find it funny. Well, it's not against the law to be cringy as F. <laughs> oh my god. I'll just think the person is an idiot putting that sticker on a car. <laughs> I mean, it definitely does give off, like, a negative impression, huh? Like, why are you flipping me off? Why is your sticker flipping me off, dude? I didn't do anything. It's legal. Ah, only flipping someone off in person can get you in trouble. Hmm. I never thought about it, but does that mean you can just hold up a sign that shows the middle finger? I didn't realize that flipping the middle finger is illegal in Germany. That is actually fascinating. You know, like, I think of signals like Nazi symbols and stuff being illegal. I didn't know flipping the bird was illegal. Fascinating. I mean, over here in America, you can flip off a cop if you want to. Now, it might not end well for you, but you can. And actually, just to finish that thought, if it doesn't end well for you, you probably have a good lawsuit on your hands because you're allowed to do that. And here, right on cue, is the election forecast with CDU, which I think they're like the they're like the center right, right? They're kind of like Republicans over here in America. That might be like really offensive, but you know, I'm just trying to draw a comparison. And then in second place is AFD, so. Those are two conservative, right-leaning, or AFD is very right-leaning, um, parties in the lead. Fascinating. When's the election? Why is pork and beef mixed together and sold by supermarket in Germany? This is the real reason I come to this subreddit for. What the hell? Pork and beef mixed together. It can't be bad. I'm sure it's good. It looks just like beef. Why don't you just breed the two animals together and grind up whatever comes out of that? You know, we could call it a pow or a pog. I'd be fascinated to try this. There are German dishes where you usually use half and half, so they sell it ready mixed. That's interesting because over here in America, they don't really do that. Not that I know of. I've never had a, or known of a dish that mixes half beacon, beef and half pork, especially like ground up. I mean, we do mix like, for instance, bacon cheeseburgers is very popular. So a beef patty with bacon on top, but mixing it together, that's fascinating. So I have to point out this post. I mean, it's the next highest voted post and it's about... This foreigner was on a bus. I had to read through all this because I don't know what the Auslander Ross song is. But I looked it up, and apparently it's about, like, anti-immigration, anti-immigrants. And this dude's a foreigner, and he was on a bus, and a bunch of little rich kids got on and started singing the song. And uh, it was pretty clear that they were pointing towards me. I'm a foreigner, and literally the only person on the bus who was not white. What's going on? <laughs> Damn. That's really weird, huh? It's kind of sad to, to see all these posts about that. Interesting post here. This person's roommate is using 500 liters of water every day, which sounds like a boatload. I mean, I don't know how much I use, for example. I bet you on average Americans use more just because Germans in general are more like environmentally conscious. But this sounds like a boatload, 130 gallons a day, showering and stuff. Um, historically, it was 200 liters. He says, I know that's low. And um, they've mentioned it four times, changed all the faucets to low flow faucets. And now they're just worried about the water bill. That's a that's an interesting that's an interesting conundrum. I guess. I mean, technically it's like what what seems if you're if you're like, you know, worried about the money, you could 
split the bill like you know do the math on the bill and say that that's how you want to split it in the future at least maybe not this month but in future months and if they don't agree to that you have to move which would suck but i i think that's the logical explanation <laughs> i'm really enjoying reading all these comments they range from you know pretty much exactly what i said somewhere to this guy who's like document it and make them pay extra <laughs> I mean, I think that makes sense, but I think you need to go about it. Because when you moved in with them, there was probably no agreement like, hey, we're going to split the water bill based on how much we use. So that sucks, but you're going to have to like do that into the future. <laughs> you can't just be like, hey, I decided you used a lot of water, so you're paying more. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you could, but probably going to lose a friendship. Oh, well. What are these racks? Uh, I have no idea. This looks like a gym and there's wooden racks. And are they safe to do pull-ups? It looks uncomfortable as hell to do pull-ups on because there's like a bar sticking out. Your knees would probably be hitting these bars. But I would say probably not. But I'm curious to see what this is and what the comments say. So this person says, you know, it's in their dorms gym. They're new to Germany, haven't seen it back home. Near their vice, so this must be some kind of German thing. I'm very curious. School memories coming back. Hmm. The smell. <laughs> it's called Sprossenwand and has multiple functions. I like them for leg raises and gymnastics bench. And you have an incline bench for sit-ups or a, or a slide for the kids. Hmm. But can you do pull-ups? It's a gymnastics rack, and yes, it's perfectly safe for pull-ups. You know, that's kind of interesting. I realize now, when I was thinking pull-ups weren't a good idea, I was looking at these fasteners into the wall, but those aren't American drywalls, you know? Those aren't just going to fall out if you do pull-ups on it. It's probably very securely in there. Now, of course, I feel the need to say, here in America, if you were trying to make that secure, you could do it, but you would have to find a stud within the wall, which is about every two feet. There's a stud going up and down. And if you fastened it into the stud with a really long, big screw, then maybe it would be good. Man, a lot of these posts are pretty negative this week. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of throwing me off. Like, oh my gosh. But this is why is the German cell phone network so awful? I didn't know that. Is it really that, is it that bad? I mean, y'all are a country of engineers. The hell? I mean, I guess this kind of goes to like, you know, that meme about how you guys still use an overhead projector in, in schools. It's like that, I guess. Because the people in charge get along fine with just lane lines and fax machines for decades. So why would we change anything now? We like to send postcards. <laughs> Manual translated in German. Nail drill. What is a nail drill? Isn't that kind of like like some kind of oxymoron or something? If you're using a nail, you gotta hammer it in. What do you do with a drill? What is a nail drill? Is it like a nail gun? Ich hab die Pfaff vergessen ach Borer. Okay, let's see. I forgot the weapon ash tray. I forgot the weapon ash tray. Oh, I forgot the weapon ash drill. Huh? This person says the English translation is also not great. And I agree because I don't even know what you bought still. A nail drill? So I can only imagine if they're if they're going off the English translation, because this is probably made in China. They translated it to English, then they translated it to German. God knows what this says. Apparently it says something really stupid. I literally spat out my drink checking your post. Thanks. Das ist so ein Handbuch aus Kreit. Dat 
Okay, I think I have seen enough for this week. Honestly, that kind of put me in a little bit of like a bad mood. Like there were a lot of negative type of stories and stuff this week. I hope y'all are doing okay over there. Damn. Hopefully it's better next week. <laughs> um, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.